guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing this Rihanna-inspired makeup. I saw her most recent makeup from her launch or webinar in China, and I was inspired. It's so cute, and I really wanted to try it out. So in this video, you're going to see me demonstrate that for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got the look and how I did it, then please keep watching. So... The shadow in this look is like a really royal blue shadow. So because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Mar ColourPop palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade, which is like this oh ring girl. Shut the hell up. Which is like a really deep, nice royal blue. And I'm going to be taking that and using that for my eyeshadow. So let's get into this look so for brushes I really want to use something that's very pointy and so I have this clean elf duo eyebrow brush and I just really like the angle of this brush and I feel like it can help me a lot because I'm not used to doing looks like this so I want to try that so I'm gonna take this shade it's called El Rey yeah El Rey and I'm gonna be creating like a wing with it and then we're gonna do a wing on the inner corner and then drag it out onto the lower lash line. This is the perfect brush to create an inner wing if you don't really know how to without it. So, don't knock that brush until you try it. But um, obviously, there is a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow, so I'm going to wipe that away a bit. Ugh, kind of stained, but I planned on kind of redoing my under eye anyways. So I'm going to take some concealer, and I'm going to take just like a really flat brush. Um, I have an e.l.f., but yeah, I think I'm going to just use this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. It's very small, and I'm going to just kind of help make this wing a bit sharper. So I'm going to take some concealer on the back of my hand. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And I'm just going to make it a little shorter. And also create a nice wing on the outside, kind of like that. <gasps> I like, I like, I like. I'm also going to use that brush to apply concealer where I had some fallout so that I can kind of cancel it out beforehand, even though I'm probably going to go in with a bit more concealer, but that is that for right now. Take my beauty blender, which is ironically blue, and I'm going to blend it out a bit. I'm not going to set anything yet because I'm not sure if there are any changes I'm going to have to make yet. So I'm just going to do this. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell or if I said it, but my face was already finished, but I'm going to be um, just reapplying some products as well. So that's that. So now I'm going to go into the second eye, and I guess I'll show you guys how I do that as well, because this is a learning process for me too. So I'm going to start by what I did for the first eye. I start by creating the outer wing, and I just kind of go in that way it's easier for me i finish the outer and then i work my way into the inner portion of the eye oh my god hi how are you okay i 
This brush is very good for these looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna go from the inner corner to the outer with smoking it out on the lash line. With the same brush, This side came out much better with the wing, so I probably won't be cleaning it up. So what I'm going to do to kind of fix, like, the fallout and stuff under my eye, I'm going to take the same NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Okay, first of all, this hair is going to have to stay behind my ear because, sweetie, I'm working, baby. Stop it. <laughs> and I want to brighten the under eye a bit. I also want to brighten my nose a bit. I've had this makeup on all day, so I'm kind of, like revamping her i'm gonna do some contour so we can look kind of snatched we can look really snatched like ruby taking the same beauty blender and i'm blending that in just be very gentle because obviously you do have shadow on the under eye so you don't want that to blend in you're gonna look blue baby use my Maybelline Fit Me um, powder in shade light medium 20. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and go all over. Go to town. I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use my NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to use this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I really like this one. Okay, I'm going to add it to my lower lash line. Whenever I'm doing my makeup, I like to keep like my contour brush like, on hand because I always go back in and fix it. I don't know. Am I the only one? I'm going to take this e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black and I'm going to use that to emphasize my beauty marks. Just a little, and they're really wet, so I'm going to wait for a little bit, and then I'm going to set them with that same Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. So I'm going to take that big fluffy brush and add some powder, just kind of like this, actually from the cap. And I'm going to apply that over where I emphasize my beauty marks, because I don't want it to be too harsh. And I also don't want it to move. I think I'm obsessed with this spray. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be going into the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in shade Bossy. Ooh, it's like this nice red. I have not used it in so long. It's really dry, so I'm assuming maybe that's why. So I'm going to go into the ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lip in the collaboration with Oh lord, I look crazy. <laughs> In the collaboration with I Love Sarah E and Ariba. Oh my god, I do not wear red lipstick. I'm scared. I'm just taking like a really angled brush and I'm kind of cleaning up the edges. I kind of want to take the ColourPop Lippy Stick and trust me, it's like this red tone and I kind of want to put it on top to see what it does, which I don't think it's going to do much, but nothing but make it softer. I forgot highlighter, so we're gonna highlight. Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. This one is in Savannah Nights, and I'm gonna take the highlight shade. I'm gonna just apply that lightly. 
because I want some glow, baby. You should already know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna spray my face one last time to set everything in place and then I'll be back for the outro. Okay guys, so that is it for this Rihanna inspired makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is so different for me, blue and red. I low-key feel like I look crazy, but I'm gonna like step into some confidence real quick. So, but I am proud of myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh